Start your applause for your next act. He's going to come to the stage. And it's Zach Watson! <laughs> Friendships. Hey. Fucking Tuesday. <laughs> Anybody else getting fucking blackout drunk apart from me and Maggie? Woo! <laughs> wow, that's that's pretty good to hear. I've been getting blackout drunk for a while, or as I like to call it, David Hasselhoff drunk. <laughs> Do you guys remember when he was all fucked up and laying on the ground eating a burger, and his daughter was filming it, and he was yeah, yelling at us? <laughs> I'm just glad there's no videos of me. <laughs> no, wait, sorry, I'm glad I don't have a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my son hates me, sorry. <laughs> I've been getting blackout drunk for a while, I've been doing it since I was 14, and I'm almost 30 now. So that's like 20 years, I'm not too sure. It's, it's a while, it's a while. Um, but I'm pretty sure that uh, since I've been getting uh, fucked up for a while, they're going to make me the poster boy for early onset dementia. Oh, it's woo! Gonna, it's just going to be a picture of me like this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were we talking about? <laughs> oh, blackout drunk. Right, <laughs> I got blackout drunk with Marines the other day. And I know what you're thinking. Zach, how did you know they were Marines? Well, they had shit haircuts, they talked with American accents, and they loved guns. So I pretty much just described Americans to you. <laughs> <laughs> but it said Marines on their t-shirts. <laughs> I'm a really shit housemate. Like, I don't know if you can tell I'm a shit housemate. Um, I'm that bloke that eats everyone else's food. <laughs> yeah! <We're> yeah! Gonna... <laughs> right, How can we tell? <laughs> like, if you leave leftover pizza in the fridge, get fucked, David Hasselhoff over here just got free pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but there's good and bad things to living in a share house. Like, uh, one good thing is when you come... No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> one good thing is when you come home and there's nothing to cook, but you find some popcorn. And one bad thing is when you come home and there's nothing to cook, but you find your housemate's popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> so Gumtree's fucked. Um, it's pretty much just like shopping for hard rubbish. Like, that's all it is. Like, if you wait fucking three months, you and three of your mates can just like hang out out the front of people's house. Like, that's it. You know, like, it's kind of like uh, a kid's lucky dip, but instead of getting lolly bags and lollipops, you get broken chairs and sold mattresses. <laughs> so it's kind of like having sex without a condom. Or as I like to call it, STD roulette. Because <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> but I read an article the other day. And this 20-year-old uh, girl uh, actually put an ad on Gumtree to sell her two-month-old baby for 150 grand. Now, that's a bit fucking pricey. First of all, you didn't get to have the fun in the first place that put you in that fucking predicament. <laughs> but it turns out that the government has taken both her kids away from her. So, what's the saying? You know, how to kill two babies with one stone? <laughs> <laughs> I guess in this case, she got rid of two kids with one gum tree. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>